In today's video, we're diving into Kali Purple, a game-changing tool designed specifically for defensive cybersecurity. My name is Jasmine, and this channel is all about helping you become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro, fast. While installing Kali Purple is straightforward, the real power lies in setting it up correctly. This operating system isn't just about penetration testing, it's a robust platform for comprehensive cyber defense. In this guide, I'll walk you through 20 things you must do after installing Kali Purple to make your system secure, optimized, and ready to tackle even the toughest challenges in cyber defense. Whether you're a seasoned cybersecurity professional or a beginner, these steps will ensure you get the most out of your setup. Let's jump right in. Step one. Update your system. After installation, the first step is to update your system. This ensures all your software is up to date, patches known vulnerabilities, and fixes any bugs that might affect performance. Running an outdated system leaves you exposed to security risks and makes your setup less efficient. To update your system, open the terminal and run the following command. sudo apt update and and sudo apt upgrade. This step ensures your system is running the latest, most secure software versions. It also improves performance, which is critical for defensive operations that demand significant system resources. Step 2. Create a non-root user. Using the default root account for daily operations is a poor security practice. A root account has unrestricted access to your system, and even a minor mistake could cause irreversible changes. Additionally, attackers target root accounts because of their high privileges. To create a new user account with limited privileges, use these commands, sudo add user and enter user's name. If the username already exists, the system will let you know. Next, give the new user admin rights using sudo user mod hyphen ag sudo your username. Switching to a non-root user minimizes the risk of accidental system-wide changes and makes it harder for attackers to exploit your system. This small change significantly improves your security posture. Step 3. Change default passwords. The default Kali password is widely known, making it a glaring vulnerability in any setup. Changing it immediately to a strong, unique password is essential. A strong password includes uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. To change your password, use the PASSWD command. Enter the default system password first, then enter the new password. By securing your accounts with strong passwords, you protect your system from unauthorized access and brute force attacks. This simple step is one of the most effective ways to secure your system. Step 4. Enable the firewall. A firewall acts as the first line of defense by blocking unauthorized network traffic. Kali Purple includes uncomplicated firewall UFW, which is easy to configure and use. Enabling it is a quick way to harden your system against attacks. Activate the firewall by running the following commands. sudo ufw enable. Next run, sudo ufw status to confirm whether the firewall is activated. If you need to allow specific services, such as SSH, you can add rules like sudo ufw allow 22. Enabling the firewall reduces the attack surface of your system and provides better control over incoming and outgoing traffic, making your setup more resilient to network-based threats. Step 5. Install essential tools. While Kali Purple comes preloaded with tools, adding a few utilities can improve your workflow. Tools like HTOP, for monitoring resources, curl for data transfers, and tmux for managing terminal sessions are excellent additions. Install them with the command sudo apt install htop curl tmux. These tools help you monitor system performance, transfer data securely, and manage multiple tasks efficiently. For example, htop provides a real-time view of your system's resource usage, which is invaluable during resource-intensive operations. Step 6. Secure SSH access. If you plan to manage your system remotely using SSH, it's crucial to secure it. 
the default SSH settings leave you vulnerable to brute force attacks and unauthorized access. To improve SSH security, start by editing the SSH configuration file, sudo nano slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Make the following changes. Disable root login by setting permit root login no. Change the default SSH port to a non-standard one, such as 2222, by modifying the port directly. Restart the SSH service to apply the changes. Pseudo system CTL restart SSH. These steps significantly reduce the risk of unauthorized access and make your system less attractive to attackers scanning for open SSH ports. Step 7. Enable automatic updates. Regular updates are essential for maintaining security, but remembering to apply them manually can be challenging. Automating this process ensures your system remains protected without extra effort. Install the Unattended Upgrades package and enable it. sudo apt install unattended hyphen upgrades sudo dpkg hyphen reconfigure hyphen hyphen priority equals low unattended hyphen upgrades. By automating updates, you save time and ensure critical patches are applied promptly, reducing your system's exposure to vulnerabilities. Step 8. Install monitoring tools. Monitoring your system's health is vital for spotting issues early and preventing downtime. Tools like Nagios and Zabbix provide real-time insights into system performance and potential threats. To install Nagios, use this command, sudo apt install Nagios. With Nagios configured, you can monitor metrics such as CPU usage, memory, disk space, and network activity. Early detection of anomalies enables you to respond proactively, avoiding potential failures or breaches. Step 9. Customize your desktop environment. Kali Purple's default interface works well, but personalizing it can improve productivity. A clutter-free, visually appealing environment helps you focus on critical tasks, Access the settings to modify themes, icons, and fonts by going to XFCE4 hyphen settings. Alternatively, install a different desktop environment like GNOME for a completely new look. Pseudo apt install GNOME, a well-organized interface not only looks better, but also streamlines your workflow, making complex tasks easier to manage. Step 10. Encrypt sensitive data. Encryption is a must for protecting sensitive data. Without encryption, your data is vulnerable to unauthorized access, especially if the system is lost or stolen. For full disk or partition encryption, use LUKES, sudo crypt setup looks format slash dev slash sda1. Pseudo crypt setup open slash dev slash sda1 encrypted underscore partition. Encrypting your data ensures that even if an attacker gains physical access to your system, they cannot access your files without the decryption key. Step 11. Perform vulnerability scans. To identify weak points in your system, use the built-in vulnerability scanner OpenVAS. Regular scans help you detect and address security gaps before they are exploited. Before setting up the OpenVAS, we need to install GVM setup command. For that, simply type the GVM hyphen setup in the terminal, and it will give an error that this command cannot be found, and also show an option below to install it. Simply enter Y, and hit Enter to install it. It will take some time to install. Once done, you can set up OpenVAS with the command sudo gvm hyphen setup. Running a full scan provides a detailed report of vulnerabilities and actionable recommendations to strengthen your system's defenses. Step 12. Schedule regular maintenance. Cybersecurity is not a one-time task. It requires ongoing effort to stay effective. Setting a schedule for updates, log reviews, and scans ensures your system remains secure and optimized. Use cron jobs to automate regular tasks like updates. To edit scheduled tasks, run crontab-e. This will open the cron table in your default text editor, where you can add or modify scheduled tasks. Now add the 02 star 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 apt update and ampersand ampersand apt upgrade hyphen eyeline to schedule nightly updates. Scheduled maintenance helps you stay ahead of potential issues and reduces the time spent on routine tasks. Step 13. Harden the kernel. 
Strengthening your system's kernel reduces its vulnerability to network-based attacks. Start by modifying the sysctl configuration file, sudo nano slash etc slash sysctl.conf. Update these lines for added security. net.ipv4.icmp underscore echo underscore ignore underscore all equals one. net.ipv4.tcp underscore sin cookies equals one net.ipv4.conf.all.rp underscore filter equals one net.ipv4.conf.all.accept underscore source underscore root equals zero. Apply the changes. Pseudo sys ctl hyphen p. With these adjustments, your system gains resilience against SYN flooding, IP spoofing, and other common attack vectors. Step 14. Configure intrusion detection systems. Using tools like Suricata enhances your ability to monitor and block malicious traffic in real time. Install Suricata with sudo apt install Suricata. Once configured, you'll gain detailed insights into network activity, helping to detect and mitigate threats quickly. An IDS not only alerts you to anomalies, but also strengthens your overall security posture. Step 15. Test your defensive tools. Testing ensures your security tools are properly configured and effective against threats. Use a tool like Metasploit for controlled simulations. For example, launch a mock attack and analyze the response with Suricata or Snort. By regularly testing your setup, you validate the robustness of your defenses and identify areas for improvement. This proactive approach builds confidence in your system's ability to withstand real-world attacks. Step 16. Automate tasks. Automating repetitive tasks, such as backing up logs, can save time and reduce errors. To create a simple backup script, start by creating a file named backuplogs.sh using the touch command. Next, open the file in a text editor like Nano and add the following lines. First, include the shebang line, hashtag exclamation mark slash bin slash bash to specify the script's interpreter. Then, write a command to compress and save the logs. This command is tar dash cdf slash backup slash logs dash dollar sign parentheses date space plus percent capital f parentheses dot tar dot gz space slash var slash log. Finally, add a message to confirm the backup was successful, which is echo space quotation logs have been backed up successfully exclamation quotation. After saving the file, Make the script executable by using the command chmod space plus x space backup underscore logs dot sh. With this automation in place, you'll notice improved productivity, fewer manual errors, and more consistent operations. Step 17. Join the Kali community. Engaging with the Kali Linux community allows you to stay updated on the latest tools and techniques, participate in forums, GitHub repositories, or online groups. After becoming part of the community, you gain access to valuable resources, troubleshooting help, and opportunities to collaborate with experts, ensuring continuous learning and growth. Step 18. Document your configuration. Keeping detailed notes on your configurations is crucial for future troubleshooting or replication. Use markdown editors like Tepora or platforms like Notion. Once you've documented your setup, you'll find it easier to track changes, replicate configurations, or share insights with team members, streamlining future tasks. Step 19. Backup your system. Regular backups are essential for protecting your data and recovering from failures or attacks. Using tools like rsync or Deja Dupe can make backups efficient and automated. To create a simple backup script, start by creating a file named backup underscore system dot sh using the touch command. Open this file in a text editor such as Nano and add the following lines. First, include the shebang line, hashtag exclamation mark slash bin slash bash to define the script's interpreter. Then, use the rsync command for backups. The command is rsync space dash av space double dash exclude equals slash proc space double dash exclude equals slash sys space slash space slash backup slash. This ensures certain system directories are excluded from the backup. Finally, add a message to confirm the process was successful. 
echo space quotation. Backup completed successfully, exclamation quotation. Once you've added these lines, save the file and make it executable by running the command chmod space plus x space backup underscore system dot sh. Regular backups like this keep your data safe and recoverable, reducing downtime in case of failures. Step 20. Set up LogWatch for system monitoring. LogWatch is a great tool to monitor system logs and generate reports about system activities, especially security-related events. After installing Kali Purple, you can set up LogWatch to keep track of important system logs without needing to manually check them all the time. It simplifies log review and helps spot potential issues early. To install LogWatch, use the following command. sudo apt install logwatch. It will take some time to install. Once installed, configure LogWatch to send daily summaries of the logs to your email or console. You can edit its configuration file with sudo nano slash usr slash share slash logwatch slash default dot conf slash logwatch dot conf. In this file, you can set options such as the report delivery frequency and the level of detail in the logs. For example, to receive a daily report, set mail to equals your email address. Make sure to double check for any spelling mistakes to ensure reports are sent to the correct address. Moreover, check if the setting detail equals low is configured. This controls the level of detail in the reports and you can adjust it to low, med, or high based on your preference. After saving the file, you can run LogWatch manually to generate a report with sudo logwatch dash dash detail high dash dash mail to your underscore email at example.com. By setting up LogWatch, you ensure that you receive regular system reports, helping you keep track of activities, identify issues, and maintain better control over your system's security. And there you have it. 20 essential steps to secure and optimize your Kali Purple installation. Following these steps not only enhances your system's security, but also improves its performance and usability. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Which feature of Kali Purple are you most excited about? Let me know. Until next time, stay secure. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.